Alright, so here's the deal. Here's the goddamn deal. Y'all lied when you said plenty of people are still playing. Well, you didn't lie when you said plenty of people are still playing this game. There's still a fair amount of player match rooms available. The problem is, is that for the past, I've been trying to look for matches for the past two days. Like, I played the Marvel videos from yesterday. Uh, well, I guess it will have been like, because I kind of wait a couple days to post subsequent videos. So it'll be, have been a couple days, but the previous Marvel video... The last video before this one would not have occurred had I actually been able to find a goddamn match in this game. I sat in rank, like this is what happened, I basically sat in ranked while playing Fire Emblem, just waiting for a match. And like, I got one after about, I want to say like four or five minutes of waiting. All I heard was the sound and then a quick flash of exiting the screen because the person left so fast, I don't know why, you know, like whatever their reason, they just bailed immediately. So I went back to Fire Emblem, played Fire Emblem for another like six to seven minutes, got a match, played the match, recorded the match, <laughs> then sat and waited again after that match, failing to get a match for another like ten minutes, and I was just like, alright, you know, whatever, it's done. I mean, it wasn't even like a bad time, it was 6 p.m. for me. That's a good time, like, to be playing any game, is, you know, kind of later in the afternoon, people have been home, settled in and shit. And there was nothing. I couldn't find anything. And the problem is, I don't want to actually leave this screen to show you, but player match rooms. See, like, I always see, obviously, a bunch of Japanese rooms, some other random rooms that are zero bars, but there have always been, every single time, at least two rooms, I've seen up to six, that all have the same exact thing. It's like a six-person room, but there's five private slots. Like, there's two people playing it, and I see it, and it's three bars, and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, let's join. And then I notice, private slot, used up, one out of five. You cannot join this room, the room is full. Well, ain't that a bitch. And that's how it is now. I checked it right before I started this, and there were two rooms that were like that. There was one, no, there were three. There were two three-bar connections and a two-bar connection that were like that. And that's all I've seen. Like, and as you can see, I'm just sitting here chilling. Nobody's joining my room either. I have never had anybody since that first video where that zero bar terrible connection joined my room. I have never had anybody else join up. Not a single person. And so like, the deal basically is I'm going to talk about a couple things real quick. And if by the time I'm done talking, nobody joins, done with Blaze Blue. Like that's it. I mean I cannot, obviously I am not playing these games a significant amount. We can see that in my performance in Marvel, where I am just terrible, I'm rusty, and, you know, I, obviously, I play that, I try to sit down and play that game and record for, like, an hour or two every other week. Like, that's basically how much I play that game. And that's really only to do videos. Like, if I wasn't looking to do videos for this channel, I probably wouldn't even be playing Marvel anymore, period. And obviously, this game... I just picked it up, what, like four days ago or so, and I have that one video, and I have played two matches outside that one video. I've found two matches outside that one video in the past, like, four or five days, however long it's been, of searching at random times. This is a waste of time. I mean, obviously, sitting around playing video games isn't a great use of my time to begin with, but sitting around waiting and hoping to actually be able to play a game is even worse. That's a level below. That is below my threshold of patience, of tolerance. So, like, I mean, like I said, I know you got, I got a, you, there was a positive response to Blaze Blue coming back, but if I am sitting here, the majority, if I'm, if there is, like, a, let's say, one-third, two-third ratio of sitting around and not playing, waiting to get a match, and playing, to, and, like, actually playing, that's too much. I am far above that right now. Like, I am at probably about 70% sitting around waiting to try and hopefully, hopefully get connected to a match, and 30% actually playing. That's terrible. Waste of time. Like, I'm sorry. I know y'all, like, you wanted this. There was a positive reaction to it. But this, I don't have all the time in the world anymore, and that's going to get even worse in the future now that, like, I've figured some things out in life and, like, I have, t I have a decent amount of time right now on my hands, up until probably about August when there's a new semester of school, 
and then I'm going back and I'm going to be hitting that hardcore and I don't even know if I'm going to be playing video games much at all anymore. I don't even know if I'm going to keep up at least with the YouTube thing because of that shit. And so like even right now, it's it, I am kind of rambling a little bit. I recognize that, but this is just this is a waste of this is legitimately a waste of time. I guess I can show you now. So let's just get rid of that shit. So see right here, two out of six, one out of five private slots. I guess one of them close. No, right here, two out of four, one out of three private slots. Like it's what are you gonna do? You know, like I can't. Life sucks, right? And I don't know if all the people in ranked are just like, I'm not getting any matches because there's a bunch of people up high at the PSR levels that are searching for similar PSR or what. But, um, I just, I mean, I'm just not really finding matches at all. That was kind of actually, I actually, this was one of the matches I played like right before I started. I didn't have the camera ready because I was surprised. I put this, is, I played this dude before this. This was the one match I've gotten. One of the two matches that I've gotten in the past two days, and it was this dude. So obviously, if he was sitting around waiting, and I get the match now, that's not exactly a good sign that there's a lot of other people playing. I hate this match, uh... I hate this match, uh... Oh my god, I can't even fucking hit buttons against this guy. Yeah, I can't I can't hit buttons against Hakumi. Hager, I hate you. <laughs> hate you, Tager. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this matchup. I hate everything about it. Like, Tager is just inferior in every single way. He got to block? Oh, you can't burst out of that. I am mad that he got to block after that. I am incredibly mad that I made him whiff. And he still blocked like half a second later. What am I doing? That's an old combo that doesn't even work anymore. I'm letting him out of the corner. What am I doing? Oh my god, you can fuck off. Really? That was my fault. He was waiting for that, like, the entire time I played against him, too. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not, like, I can't, I don't know setups anymore. Oh my... Why did that not combo? That was stupid. I appreciate people for never checking out of my setups. Oh my god! 
I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad about the 2B not coming out. I ain't even mad. The plan that I don't even actually, it may have actually been a blessing in disguise that that 2B had not come out because I don't actually know if that late in the combo. The plan was to 2B, 5C, Magnetech Wheel. That was the plan. I don't know if that shit works. I don't know if they would have flipped out of the 5C before they, uh... Because I know, like, right, like, if you do in, um... In CS2, like, if you did Spark Bolt, 5C into Magnetech Wheel, that shit would work. That kind of thing. But I don't know if it worked that late in the combo. So it may have been a blessing in disguise that it didn't come out. But, uh, anyway... So now we're going to sit around. Like, I guarantee you, if I get a match, it's going to be that dude again. It's going to, like, it's either going to be that dude or I'm not going to find a match. And it's going to make me super, super sad. So let's talk about Fire Emblem for a little bit. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I mean, like, see, here's the thing. You kind of have to, if you want this game to actually be, like, difficult in a traditional Fire Emblem sense, you kind of have to not use all the new shit they put in. Because the new shit is broken. It is ridiculous how broken this shit is. Like, they have, in the old games, they had this thing called Rescue. Where you could run up to a unit that was potentially in trouble. You know, run up to a unit with a tankier unit. And there was an option called Rescue. Which is exactly as it sounds. You rescue them. So then they end up, like, kind of piggybacking on you. So you can utilize that feature to either move some slow units with quicker units... Or, you know, you just have a unit in danger, so you can send another unit that will not be in danger in that situation and rescue them. They replaced that with a feature called Pair Up in this game, which is basically rescue times five million. Like, there was the, uh, the rescuee had served no purpose. You couldn't do anything with them after they were rescued. They were just, they were stuck to the person until you released them. In this game, if you pair up, Number one, the person that's in the background gives stat boosts to the person that's in the foreground. So you can, like, for instance, take a weak unit and pair them up with just this ungodly powerful unit. And then all of a sudden, they'll be doing, like, double damage. They'll have double the speed. It's, ridic it's ridiculous how much that, uh, how, how high that boosts your statistics. And it can also, and that boot, statistical boost goes up as you get closer through support. So, like, if you have two s rank supports next to each other that are also very good, um, that have very good stats, they're just, I mean, they, they are literally, oops, I hit the A button, I'm going to get a shitty color. They're literally unstoppable. But there's also, that person in the background has a chance to do their regular attack after any of your regular attacks. It's a percentage possibility. And there's also a percentage possibility anytime they get attacked for them to nullify the damage. That's ridiculous. It's crazy. That feature is stupid. And I'll go into more other stupid features that make this shit overpowered. Well, basically, since we're going to wait and let the intro rock, there's, this, there's these new things called second seals. You can basically class change in this game. And whenever you class change, it resets your level to one. So you basically have infinite leveling possibility to max out your statistics. So it's easy as hell to just make your dudes overpowered as fast. That's what you start out with, really. Damn it. For some reason, I did quarter circle forward. Okay, 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 okay. So he wants to just do continually, like, hilariously unsafe shit. Do that shit again. Do your fucking thing again. Do your fucking thing again. He's not doing his fucking thing again. Go to hell! I don't feel like burning today, bitch. Damn it! Damn it! Yo, look at that hit confirmed. Look at that hit! Oh, fuck. I ain't even mad. <laughs> Fuck, I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, please open up with that shit again. Please open up with the fucking heart dolphin dial. Damn you. I suck! 
You're stupid! Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! God, Tager's a terrible goddamn character. I am super happy that the 1360 I go for in both those matches I do not fuck up and make an ass out of myself. Thank you, Nate. Self applause. Good job, you did 360. Be proud. Uh, so anyway, so like it, basically these second seals give you infinite levels. Now, thankfully, you cannot class change to anything. Like each character has a pool of classes they can join. Usually it's only like two or three extra ones. But still, it's... I mean, like, it's so easy. It's so easy to just break your characters. So it's kind of like, you kind of have to not use those systems in order to, like, be challenged, basically. Because the problem is, hard is, like, the proper difficulty for a game like this. Lunatic is kind of above the level for the first little bit, and then your units kind of catch up, you know, they level up a bit, and then it gets much easier from there, like the first five or six levels suck dick. After that, everything's smooth sailing. Lunatic Plus is just stupid, there's no point to it. It's literally just, hey, hope the RNG favors you right now. Why am I not burying you? It's because you're stupid. I bury her like half a second too late there. Damn it, I must have tech too late. I did actually try to tech that though, which is a new one new for me with throws. God, I hate this character. Tech too late again. I'm gonna fucking work. He can jump cancel that? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I hate this character. I've always hated this matchup. Always hated playing against this character. Let's throw beat my jab. I ain't even mad. Tried to jab him, I didn't even get a throw counter. What the hell's up with that? Why can I not fucking tech? Go to hell. Alright, so that's okay. Dude, why like you hear y'all hear me mashing the living shit out of these buttons, right? Like, I am legitimately mashing the fuck out these buttons. Oh, come on! It went right through his damn body! Alright, so maybe that was a little obvious. Wow, that was, uh, lucky. That was supposed to be a 5C into that shit, and... <laughs> Obviously it wasn't! Thank you for not teching. God damn it, have a useful anti-air! Have a useful anti-air! Thank you, 5A, or 6A, whatever button you are. Thank you, 6A. Thank you, 2C. Fuck, I hate this character! Tech it! I cannot believe that shit is safe. Wow, that sucks. Fine. I should have stopped. I should have stopped doing that. Like that's 
That just makes me mad that, like, hella buttons I hit didn't even come out. I mean, like, I literally lost that match because 6A didn't come out, like, three times. And that just sucks. I mean, I really, like, I just, I cannot stand losing to that. Like, losing because you press buttons and nothing happens. It's not like that's a link or anything. That's a fucking cancel. <sighs> I'm already, let me, like, see, playing as Hakuman, it's the same thing every time. I'm not gonna learn a new character because I don't, number one, I don't care enough about this game to learn a new character. Number two, there's not enough people playing this game to give me time to learn a new character. Like, I don't, I cannot learn in training mode. I have never been able to learn anything in my history of fighting games in training mode. I just have to play and get my ass blown up repeatedly until, like, everything sticks. I can learn, like, the basics, but I cannot sit here just for hours on end like some people can, just practicing combos and setups and shit. I can't do it. My brain is not able to do that. I get distracted, and I just want to, like, leave and walk away five minutes in. It just doesn't work. But whenever I play against, like, you know, like, a character like Hakuman with Tager, or any kind of character that Tager has a shitty matchup against, it's all, it just brings everything back. Like, every single frustration I ever felt when playing this game just floods back at, all at once. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you bothering? Tager is a shit character. Has a shit neutral game. It's just not worth it. It's not worth playing if I want to use Tager. So shoutouts to you, Arc System Works, for making a game that makes somebody want to quit because they picked the wrong character. Good job. For fucking five straight games. What is this? We got CTCS, CS2 Extends, that's four. And I don't actually, we don't, we never know. Every single iteration of this game that comes out, Tager's looking kind of good for a little bit. Tager's looking like he may be, at the very least, not ass tier level. And then you actually play the game for a few months, everything settles, and Tager's an ass tier. Fully expecting that to happen again. That's why, like, once, once, ex what is it called? Chrono Phantasm actually fucking drops. I will never touch Tager again. This character is just terrible. I mean, you like you have a game that's basically based around either having good zoning, like you know Mew, um, not Mew Moo, whatever the fuck. I know y'all gonna get on me for that pronunciation. Or Lanza. Some of the you know some of those characters that actually have zoning. Hazuma, and even they have good movement. Or you have rushdown characters like Bang, like Hakuman, who can jump cancel every single one of their buttons and have a triple fucking air dash and shit. And then you have Tager, who has no aerial momentum whatsoever. He has a back dash that doesn't even move him anywhere. It's only there for the invincibility frames at the beginning of him. And the only zoning he has is using shitty normals that could potentially be not quite so shitty if you have the opponent electrified, which is really almost no reason for an opponent to get electrified in the first goddamn place. And my battery is actually probably going to run out because the battery is flashing at me right now. So it is entirely possible that uh, the battery shall die in the middle of this match. But yeah, it's just, I mean, Tanger is just a terrible character all around. He does not belong in this game. He belongs in Street Fighter is where he belongs. He has Street Fighter-like mobility. He has Zangief-like mobility. But in a game where, like, everything that makes Zangief dangerous in Street Fighter doesn't exist in Blaze Blue, having a Zangief-like character is not, does not make for a good character. It's just a terrible guy. I'm kind of mad that I hit him in the air. Wait, get up, really? What? I am not even mad. Thank you, armor. Appreciate that shit. That shit just beat my 2A. That shit just beat my 2A. Thank you, fucking magnetism. You're great. 
What? Thank you, Blaze Blue. You're great. That is fucking retarded. That is fucking retarded. Yep, I hate this game again. That didn't take long. Yep, hate this game again. I can't press buttons with Tager. It doesn't fucking work. I can't do it. I hate this game. I literally hate this game. Yeah, I hate this game. This game sucks. This game's terrible. That's not actually correct. It's just Tager that's terrible. It's, it's just Tager that's terrible. I can't even punish that shit? Really? Fuck, I hate Tager.